Hi, this is Jason Aarons, and I'm going to give an overview of UCCX uh, 9 and the Desktop Administrator. Um, so to access this, you need to go to the plugins in App Admin and uh, download it, and then you can be able to click on Start uh, Program Cisco uh, Desktop, and then you'll find the Desktop Admin client. Um, so this particular version of Desktop Administrator is version uh, 902. It is a 32-bit app. There is a uh, web application, but apparently not everything is exposed in the web application, uh, whereas the 32-bit app seems to have everything listed in here. Um, so a couple things that we'll take a look at in the workflow configuration. Uh, the purpose of uh, my, my doing this today is to create some reason codes or modify uh, some reason codes. Um, so typically most customers will uh, configure what the local area code is, um, we'll also configure uh, the local exchanges, digits. If they're out dialing from uh, UCCX, this is probably a little more important. Um, maximum number of digits uh, so that it recognizes that, you know, the extension length and CAD. Um, and uh, now I'm going to head over to the phone book. You can push a custom phone book uh, out to the uh, desktop clients with names and numbers. And uh, here's what I'm really looking for is the reason codes. Um, so I've uh, edited a master list and created some custom re uh, custom uh, codes. So I'm going to create a new one called meeting. I'm going to add that. I'm going to say done. And same thing, I'm going to go over here. And uh, there should be a checkbox down here. I don't see it, but it definitely exists. And now globally, I've got available these four new reason codes. While I'm in here, let's take a look after a call if you're done with an agent. If you wanted to add some uh, wrap-up uh, data and wrap-up information, uh, you could do that to give them uh, some information like, you know, don't forget to do something. Um, so let's go to the workflow group. And let's take a look at some of the data. So we've got this enterprise data in the uh, workflow group. So once I create the reason codes, I have to assign them. So here we've got, I can give some warnings on the client, whether calls have been in queue for so long. Here's the same reason codes that we just applied to the uh, workflow. Uh, wrap-up data, here's where we uh, can tie that wrap-up data uh, back to the uh, client. Here's the phone book that's tied to, and again, you can have multiple workflows. Different people may need different things. Um, so Cisco Agent Desktop. I can customize the user, in user interface, showing them what's uh, available, what buttons. I can create custom buttons. I can show different data fields. voice contact workflows, email. So if you're using the uh, email interaction manager piece of uh, UCCX, so you, an email comes into Exchange, we can uh, present that email to agents. They'll accept it and work it just like a, uh, a regular uh, phone call. CAD BE, um, uh, it's no longer supported in the basic version, but this is like the light edition of CAD. I've never used CAD BE myself. Um, so you can see there's some data in here. Same thing, we got voice contacts in CAD BE. And then lastly, the IP phone agent, which uh, my understanding is going away in uh, version 9 that's unsupported. So I don't know if this is just here for reason. I take that back. IP phone agent is supported in version 9. I'm not aware of any changes. I was actually thinking of the uh, Jabber uh, phone service. Uh, that is no longer supported, but IP phone agent is supported in 9. Uh, we use it quite often, not a, not a problem. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's an overview of the desktop workflow administrator and uh, how to add uh, how to add a reason code uh, for uh, for things uh, end of shift, log in, log out, not ready.